I'm Bostian. Uh, I'm professor of geology at uh, University of Ljubljana. Uh, and basic, and I come from here. I'm a native from Belakraina in a village nearby here, just two kilometers from the place we stay now. Uh, at the moment, we are basically in the center of uh, Belakraina in a place, uh, a village called Kanižarica. It's geologically very interesting. So the, the thing, uh, if you want to understand geology of one region, is that you have to. Uh, the first thing you have to know about geology is that uh, things are changing very quickly uh, around the world. So uh, the things we see now uh, are just uh, the they are a result of very recent uh, tectonic movements. So if you uh, if we go a bit a, a little bit uh, backwards to the geological history, so the history of the planet Earth, you will. Uh, the things change very rapidly. So uh, what we, you, we have to know about Bilakraina that the most of the rocks we find in the Bilakraina uh, are from Mesozoic area and at that time uh, the earth was completely different. Uh, we were um, in the middle of or on the margin of very large uh, ocean that was uh, splitting the earth into big continents. In south there was Gondwana and in north it was Laurasia and we were in the very corner. So this uh, big uh, ocean was called, was called Tethys uh, and we were in the very margin of this ocean uh, and uh, things were very similar that, uh, to, the, to the things we, we, we find today in Bahamas. So it was uh, this uh, setting, the paleogeography, so the geography of the Mesozoic uh, was very similar to the, to the present-day Bahamas. There was a big sea around and there was a very flat, uh, we call it platform, carbonate platform. And, uh, and uh, to the north it was uh, Laurasia, to the south it was Gondwana. And we, the whole area here, the Mediterranean actually, the big Mediterranean was in the middle. It was covered by shallow seas and some uh, maybe deeper uh, um, deeper seas but not extremely deep but then to the, towards the uh, east towards the uh, India and Iran and also Turkey also to the towards the let's say present there Serbia there was dig, uh, this big ocean started uh, this is the geological setting of the area of the Mesozoic uh, so what we had uh, at that time it was this uh, shallow water um, uh, let's say we were in uh, uh, equatorial region so it was very hot a lot of uh, animals lived in this uh, shallow water and what animals uh, do they uh, get uh, material out of the water so it's basically it's, two, uh, it's one mineral it's called calcite or the very near uh, mineral it's aragonite uh, very close to the calcite and usually after it's not important they take minerals out of the water and they make their shells and these shells, then afterwards they sediment very slowly. They uh, and they they made the rocks that it's called carbonites. Sometimes uh, you, you can still find these shells uh, or the houses of the snails and stuff like this inside of the rocks. Uh, we call them fossils. Mostly uh, they disintegrate. They totally fall apart and uh, they become the carbonite mud. And when this a lot of this material settles down, you got. Uh, uh, a rock that is called limestone, and this is Belakraina. Belakraina is made mostly, mostly of limestones. Everything you, you look around from the highest mountains, which is uh, highest mountain, which is Mirna Gora here, in my background, and all around in these mountains, uh, also in uh, in lowlands in for Belakraina, you you will find limestones, and one very similar rock, which is dolomite. Uh, limestone sometimes it turns to dolomite later uh, during the process of uh, cementation when it get, when it's, it gets hard hard from the when sediments becomes a rock uh, sometimes the limestone uh, the calcite turns into other, another mineral we don't get the rock that is called limestone we get the rock which is called dolomite but it's basically it's very similar and these two rocks uh, we call them carbonites that's the story about uh, the majority of Bielekraina. So what we have here is um, a lot, a lot, a lot, <laughs> a 
of limestones around in some dolomites. So carbonites are uh, major rocks here. Uh, they formed in this very large shallow sea, uh, which was from the central Slovenia through southern Slovenia, Croatia, then Bosnia and even further down to Montenegro. And this uh, shallow uh, sea was called the Dinaric uh, Carbonate Platform, or they call it also Adriatic Carbonate Platform. So this was very flat, shallow sea with a lot of, with big production of limestones. And this is what we see here today around. Then later, the tectonic movements, uh, because this big ocean, I was telling in, in, uh, in a start, and it started to close uh, slowly. Uh, Today we don't. This uh, ocean doesn't exist anymore. Uh, it's we just find find some some remains in uh, in big mountains like uh, Dinaritz and then further in uh, Zagros Mountains and Himalayas and of this ocean. So when this ocean started to to close, also the Dinaritz this area started to to become uh, exposed. Uh, and uh, today we see these rocks that before it was, they, they were originated in this shallow sea. But today we see them in, in the mountains all around, and also uh, here in uh, also in the flat parts of the uh, Bielokraina.